All right, welcome back to our YouTube channel. Today we will be doing an instructional video of one of our popular product, Profec Boost Controller. We had many different type of boost controller over the years. This is our current model, has been updated and improved. We wanted to show you how to install and set up this unit. So let me show you what's included in this kit. First thing here is the control unit. So it's a nice compact design. It could be placed anywhere within the cockpit and uh, has this nice big dial to make the adjustment and this OLED display. And this could be rotated um, left or right. And that could be also set in, uh, in the setting. Comes with a nice bracket that's adjustable with double-sided tape. So everything is very compact and lightweight. So you don't really have to worry about this bulky thing just hanging off uh, inside the car, uh, interrupting your drive. So a pretty good feature. And this is the brain, the control box, which uh, gets mounted inside the engine compartment and makes the installation more simple. And all you got to do is connect the control unit to this main unit and the rest remains in the engine compartment. Built-in sensors that monitors the manifold pressure and also this valve unit. So it's a three-port solenoid valve to be used to control either the actuator, internal wastegate, or external wastegate. And these three port has different settings for the application, which we'll get into. And it comes with a bracket for the solenoid valve so you could have a nice clean installation of the valve unit with inside the compartment and hose barb for the in and out of the, the unit. Also comes with all the necessary hardware like the anti-vibration insulators and bolts, bracket nuts to secure the valve, air filters for the sensors or the main body to prevent any contamination going into the sensor to give accurate reading. Um, Three-way connection to tap into existing pressure source on the intake manifold. These are the extension harness for the valve unit. So depending on where you mount the uh, main unit and the valve, you could use this extension to make sure that the installation is clean. Um, 12 volt power source and a four mil and six mil vacuum hose. So some of these might not be long enough for a certain uh, custom application, but we also offer extra vacuum lines uh, as an option. Now let's get into the installation of this Profec unit. It's a pretty straightforward installation. If you follow the instruction manual, all you need is 12 volt ignition and ground. So if you're familiar with your vehicle electronic, that should be pretty straightforward. If you're not familiar with it, make sure to follow the factory service manual to get the best location for your power source. And this connects to the main unit. So the main unit has the built-in sensor and has this cable that connects to the power source and your controller. The first step of this installation is mounting this power unit with inside the engine compartment. You want to mount this in a cool, away from the heat area that won't get wet. And this main harness needs to be routed through the firewall to access the power harness and the control unit. And now that you have this main harness through the firewall, you have two connectors. One is going to your power source, which is this power harness connects to vehicles, ignition, 12 volt power and ground. Make sure to follow your factory manual for the proper wiring of that. And the other one goes to our control unit. So now to the, the main control unit. So this is what controls the whole boost controller, connects to the control unit and also the valve unit. But first, we're gonna connect this pressure source to your vehicle's engine. And the best pressure source directly to the intake manifold. So for this engine display that we have here is a S2000 with our turbo kit. There's a, a pressure port right on the intake manifold to the fuel pressure regulator. 
usually that is the best source. There's some vehicles that you might not find a direct source like this, then you're gonna have to tap into something else. But if there's a hose like this, basically we're gonna be cutting. Here's a three-way T that comes with a kit. It's gonna be going between the intake manifold pressure source and the fuel pressure regulator, just like that. Four mil vacuum hose. We're gonna be taking the pressure source Okay, now that the pressure source to the intake manifold is routed, now we're gonna connect that to the main unit. So the kit also comes with this filter to filter out any of the read that goes into the sensor to make sure that we get accurate reading at all times. So cut about an inch, inch and a half vacuum hose, four mil, and notice the direction, the top flat part will be towards the sensor. So that's how we'll be connecting that. And then taking the pressure source coming off of the intake manifold to the bottom here. Okay, next is installation of the valve unit. This is the actual solenoid valve that controls your boost. So it's very important to pay attention to the installation of this part and making sure the, the port that being used for your specific application is correct. Whether it's internal wastegate type or external wastegate type, there's different configuration for that. So right now we're gonna be installing it onto an actuator type, internal wastegate. So we'll be using port one and two. So follow the diagram on the instruction manual in detail to make sure that you're hooking this up properly. Now that you have the right port configured, on your valve unit, find a location away from the heat within your engine compartment and get this mounted and make sure that it's mounted vertically and make sure to use the anti-vibration insulators that comes with the kit while mounting this somewhere in your engine compartment. Now we're gonna be connecting the valve unit. Port one goes to the charge pipe pressure source which in this example is this pipe coming right from the turbo compressor housing. The closest to the turbo is most ideal to get the accurate charge pipe pressure. Some people make a mistake and connect port one to the intake manifold, which is way downstream after the intercooler, after the throttle body, and you won't get the right pressure. If you don't have a pressure source like this, uh, you might need to add that. So the charge pipe pressure connects to port one of the solenoid valve. The hose that goes to the actuator connects to the port two. Now connect the valve unit harness to the main unit harness. Depending on where both units are mounted within the engine compartment, the kit includes extension harness so that you can connect the two if it's away from each other. Okay. Now let's mount the control unit with the provided bracket. It makes it really simple to mount this unit in a different orientation, left or right, in a location that's easily accessible to the user. All we have to do left is connect the harness to the main unit. 